What's going on, everybody? It's your guy, Darth Vader here, back at it again. Once again, and today, I'm going to be bringing some all new to you here. But, so, but it's also a classic, too. So, <laughs> as you can see, it's an Eradicator Dragon Descendant deck. I finally got the pieces I need to finally run the actual deck. <laughs> I am so freaking happy because this deck took me so long to make. Because, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I thought, what the hell? Let's get started, right? Okay, so starting off with the main deck, you have a standard of four copies of Radicator Dragonic Descent. I'm pretty sure we all know what he does right now, especially Counter Blast 2 plus 5k, and then Limit Break, Counter Blast 1, discard 3 Radicator. There's stand with a creative, it doesn't hit. <laughs> so much pressure. Gotta love that. Uh, next, I play for Tobacco Grade 3. Again, Probably expected from a descendant player, but hey, it works though. Four copies of Eradicator, Sweet Command Dragon. I'm happy because one of them actually is SP, <laughs> and you know, I don't run a lot of SPs in my decks. <laughs> but anyway, with this skill, I love it because Sack Slam to Soul on Ride, clear front row unit of your opponents, and one right, Counter Blast 2, Soul Blast 2, draw one card, plus five, and get rid of the other. One. It's kind of like a chain effect on the limit break, which is really kind of handy if you get into the right condition. Plus, he's like the pseudo standard. He's like, he basically gives me away in Narukami's next stage. But with more power. Okay, so that's all the grade 3s I play. I know you don't usually see me play 8 grade 3s, but this deck has to be one of the ex exceptions. On to the grade 2s, I play 4 copies of Eradicator Zuiten. Great pressure, counter if he hits, counter charge one, soul charge one, great for freaking zillion or sweet command if I have him and I'm kind of depleting on soul. Next I play three copies of Voltage Horn Dragon. Three copies of Voltage Horn Dragon because I kind of need Thunder Strike now that that's a thing. <laughs> so, plus he's pretty great pressure either way. I don't have to hit or anything, he just kills stuff. Love it. Then for next I play two copies of the Eradicator Death Scythe. The only reason I play two is because, well, I keep ten with this deck, you switch a lot of Vanguards around from Vanguard from Descendant to Sweet Command over and over, so it's like Hmm. I don't know, four seem kinda of overkill to me, but you know, two seem like a really good balance. And for even more pressure just to because right now I'll just play two copies of Eradicator, Children, his skill, especially kind of boss one. When the attack hits, your opponent has to give every regard. I like this guy because he just is a special counter blast. So you don't have to have an Eradicator Vanguard like a uh, Zui Zen here. So, yeah, hey, good early game rush and get ready to clear boards early. Get ready to clear boards early. Make sure you get that pressure off. Yeah, hold on one sec. There we go. Now for the great ones, I play... Three copies of Demolition, like I said, this is kind of like a early game rush type, so why not? <laughs> and then I play three copies of Strike Slasher. He was like do attack except they're having to descend the Vanguard, except he's rather different. His counter charge skill is a GB1, and the soul charge skill, well, that's just one's return, so even if I don't hit, yeah. And then two copies of Strike. But uh, just so I have my copies of Sweet Command in the deck and I have something to kind of stride off of and I need it in certain situations. And then... Four copies of the Eradicator PG, just because I need those Eradicators in the damage zone. Okay, on to the Grade Zeros. Now, since I'm running Sweet Command, you know this starter was coming. I play the Thunder Triplets. <laughs> AKA first strike, first thunder Draco here. <laughs> but yeah, these triplets are good because either way, if you start with one, then you can easily just get out the other dude up, get that superior ride, and then phew, just get combos. <laughs> and for this deck, I know a lot of decks may seem rather good. For instance, they ought to play. The standard 8 crit 4 draw, 4 heal, but for me, I play not 4, not 7, not 10, 
But boom, 12 crits. Now let me explain why I run 12 crits. With this deck, you do quite a bit of resand. You do a little bit of resanding here and there, so I was thinking, you know what? Draws are gonna make this deck even thinner than it already does, so why not just get the pressure with critical triggers? <laughs> so I just go all out with criticals. As you can see, I play 10 eradicator crits and just two gems just because I need emer if I need emergency soul. But yeah. And I play, like I said, four heals. <laughs> okay, so that pretty much takes care of the main deck. So yeah. <laughs> now let's move on to the G Zone. Okay, let's see. I play four copies of Zillion because well he is Rasona. And he's like descendant, but just doesn't get into crit. His skill is if he doesn't hit and you have a phase of Zillion in the G zone on previous activation, counter blast one, soul blast two, discard three. Man, that is such a heavy cost. But the Vanguard stands with a minus of two drive only. I wish he gained like 5,000 power crit to make up for that, but I got. So this total crit jet in this called crit deck, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, he's pretty funny. He's funny. And this is how you also get out those superior right combos with Sweet Command, as you've all seen. So, say I had like Chojun or Voltage Horn in the rear guard. Vol say Chojun doesn't hit, I still have Voltage Horn to back that up, get its scale off. Then, first thunder, sack it off the soul of the Tatan. Boom, superior right, extra attack right there. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why a lot of people are doing this. So, I also play. Four copies of Voltage, just because, well, <laughs> what can I say, this guy is pretty much funny, so, GB3 skill, yeah, we all know what he does, I, we've all seen my video, all the videos of Narukami, blah, 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 I also tucked in, um, a single VMAX, simply because, well, he's a VMAX and he gives me brawler type skills, so it's a good way to free up some spaces. And if I'm lucky enough to actually get off the Thunder Strike 5 at the right timing, boom, game, end game. And since uh, Sweet Command skill also comes so handy, I also play two copies of Conquest. The reason only two is because I didn't get any room for VMAX and the next unit I'm gonna show you. <laughs> so, but hey, he's still kinda good to get that little 10k base off to find out. And next I play one Voltex Zapper Dragon. He's either the spare one, gets more bound units off to help me get ready for VMAX, blah blah blah. And yeah, he's a free superior right if I get him if I get a sweet amount off. And for the G Guardians, I play two Viratra, one Bulwark, and one screw. Two Viratra because, well, <laughs> it's not exactly Thunderstrike. Uh, reliant in this deck, so <laughs> that's what I was looking for for a minute. Sorry, I blanked. But yeah, so he's good 5k. So, uh, substitutable 10k. And the only reason I play one Borg is because, like I said, you really don't find as much with this particular build. So it's like, eh. <laughs> but yeah, so thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like in that comment section down. Like and comment in that section down below. It's your guard up here. We'll say now. I'll catch you all here. Oh, and just a quick announcement. I will be doing. I will be doing um, uh, basically kind of like vlog because my shop's gonna have a qualifier coming up around the end of the month. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed. And it's your guard up here. Signing out. Later.